This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group. Early this morning, we saw a nice sell-off in crude, both West Texas and Brent. Midday, we got a little bit of a rally back when news came out about sanctions, perhaps, uh, on Venezuela and, and what that could do to the exports from Venezuela to the U.S. But even that really couldn't sustain the rally back in crude, and we wound up being about a third of a percent off today. There certainly seem to be a lot of headwinds in the crude space really related to, to global macroeconomic conditions, slow growth, China, et cetera, that we've heard about. Tailwinds really is just the geopolitical risk, and you would have thought that maybe you know this news out of Venezuela, which is fairly significant, could have pushed the oil space higher, but it didn't. Right now, Venezuela exports to the U.S. about 500,000 barrels a day, and if that gets cut off here, which the Trump administration is, is potentially looking to do, Venezuela is going to have to turn to other parts of the world, pr probably pr primarily China, Japan, for those exports. That could really hurt the U.S. space here because that 500,000 uh, barrels a day that we get, we're going to have to try and find that elsewhere. Other uh, other places in, in, in the energy space here, Natty Gas, really a slow market today, almost unchanged, around three bucks hanging right in there. Not a lot of volume, so I wouldn't really look for big moves there. Scott Bauer, floor of the CME Group.